Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I'm down in my basement right now in front of my grow light setup. And so in this video, I wanted to give you guys just a quick look at what I am using for my setup this year. Um, I guess you could kind of call my setup a little DIY. Besides the heat mats, everything that I'm using is not specifically for seed starting. Um, well, besides the seed trays, of course, but the lights, the shelving, um, I kind of made my own setup on a budget last year because it was my first year, but I had really, really great success with what I used, and so I wanted to share with you guys what I'm using since we're in the very beginning of seed starting season. So um, I'll zoom in and give you guys some close-ups, but behind me you'll see on the second shelf I only have a couple things started. I have the eucalyptus that I just started in my last video, and then I have the lisianthus, which I started way back on January 5th, which is about a month ago already. So I'll put some pictures up on the screen as I go through this of my setup from last year, but basically um, the shelving unit that I'm using is a 24 by 36 plastic shelving unit. I got it at a local hardware store. It was under $100. It has five shelves. So I use four of those shelves as growing space because I have the lights suspended from the shelf above it. The lights that I use are a shop light. They are 4,000 lumens and I use two lights per shelf. And you can see I have them hanging from the shelf above. They're hanging by chains and they are hung by S hooks. And so I can easily lower them and bring them back up to the height that I wanna use them at. So this second shelf, you can see I have them a little lower because my lisianthus are so small and so I want these a little bit lower at this time. Now, if I was growing, say, tomatoes and my tomato seedlings were getting a little taller, then I would want them all the way at the top. But by using the chains and the S-hooks, I can easily adjust the height on these. These shop lights were probably about 20 bucks a piece. I got them at a Menards, which is a regional store for us. Um, it's comparable to a Home Depot. So I'm sure that you can find them at any home improvement store or online. Again, they're 4,000 lumens and they worked great for me. I also use heat mats with my seed starting. You can see on this top shelf, I have one all ready to go for the next thing that I start. This is one of the seed starting mats that I use. Again, I got this at a local home improvement store. I think it was about 15 or 20 bucks. This is a 10 by 20 in size. I also have one that's underneath my Lysianthus trays that is a 20 by 20 in size. That was a little nicer of a heat mat. I think I might have got that from Gardener Supply. Um, but you can pick the heat mats up any local home improvement store. This time of year, all of them will have a seed starting area set up with your seed starting mix. Um, lots of different vegetable and flower seeds, your grow trays, and so you can easily find these anywhere. I find that the 10 by 20 size are really easy um, to use because you can put that under one single tray if you want, and then once you're done using it, you can just put it away or move it on to the next tray that you're starting. Now, I'll do a video later in the season when I actually get more seeds on my grow station, but right now, I just have my one little tray, which is the eucalyptus seeds that I started in the last video. Then I have two 10 by 20 seed trays behind me. Those are my lisianthus, and those are 200 cell trays. And so if you want to reference back to when I started my lisianthus seeds, I started those a little bit different this year. Last year I started them in a tray like this. I found it was really hard to transplant them and I think I lost a few of the plants. And so this year I went ahead and just started them right off in a plug tray. Now I did not get 100% germination so not all the cells are full, but that is totally fine. Lysianthus are fussy to grow, but this way I know I do not have to transplant them. So my plan for the rest of this season for my grow station is I will have a second one of these set up probably my March 1st because that is when a lot of the other seeds are going to be starting. Um, so like March 1st, March 15th in there all the way into April, that's when I'm going to be starting a lot of the bulk of my seeds. And so I'm going to have one more set up just like this and that should give me plenty of room for the rest of my cut flowers and the vegetables that we're starting for our garden this year. Okay, so that's it for this video. I know it was pretty short, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what I'm using for my grow light setup this year because I know a lot of you are getting started at starting your seeds or planning to get your seeds started. So I thought maybe this would be helpful. 
So anyway, I have a lot more content coming up this winter and of course in the spring, so stay tuned for everything that I'm doing to get ready for this growing season. We'll see you soon.